on your mark, get set, go. Are you curious about how I make stickers quick and easy on my iPad using Procreate? A lot of tricks can help you make stickers in under five minutes. So today, I'm gonna to show you how someone who has never used Procreate before in their lives are able to make quick and simple stickers that you can put into your digital planner. Before we jump in, make sure you like and subscribe. More will be coming with a lot more details so you can make much more decorative and fancy stickers. So let's get to it. So looking at my blank planner for next week, I'm ready to start decorating with some stickers. So let's start by going to Procreate. This is an app you can get in the App Store for $9.99. This is a great app for designing all sorts of different things. On here, just looking at my screen, you can see some of the stickers that I've designed, both digital and printable stickers, as well as things that I've put on my Instagram feed and all sorts of great things. We're gonna start by clicking on this little plus up at the top. There's a lot of different options for size. I mostly stick with screen size, so this means it'll be the size of your iPad. So just like working in other aspects in your iPad, you are able to pinch to change the size or zoom up. When I first started using Procreate, I'd often try to turn my iPad like I would a piece of paper, but quickly you start to realize that rather than turning your iPad, you can simply turn the paper. Up top, there's a lot of tools today. I'm gonna to show you some. This first one that looks like a paintbrush is a brush. Procreate comes with a lot of different brushes already installed. Uh, when I first got Procreate, I spent a lot of time just playing around and drawing with different brushes. So one brush I wanna show you under calligraphy is called Monoline. Again, this comes with your Procreate purchase. So if you go to the calligraphy tab, you can click Monoline. This is, in my opinion, the best basic brush. Now the circle up at the top is where you pick your colors. You'll see there's lots of different settings like a color wheel. You can also change how bright or dark a color is. Procreate also comes with a lot of palettes of colors that already go together. In future videos, I'll show you how I make my own palettes when I'm designing stickers so I can make sure all the colors really go together. Today, let's just pick a color that we like. So I'm gonna pick this cool little teal color and I've already got my brush picked on Monoline, which we picked before, and now I can draw just like it was paper. Now there are a few really good tricks to learn. The first is this undo button. This undo button is gonna become your best friend. Being able to draw a straight line is critical in designing stickers. So if you draw a line and then continue to hold your pencil down at the end, it automatically snaps the line straight. Now when you're making stickers, a lot of times you want to be able to make a line that goes straight across the screen. To do this, you're going to draw your line, hold your pencil to make it straight, and then with your other hand, touch the screen. This moves that line that you just drew in different increments of an angle, which allows you to easily make it straight or up and down at a perfect 90 degree or 180 degree angle. The same holding and touching can be used for shapes. So if I try to draw a circle freehand, it's very challenging to do. Instead, if I draw my circle freehand but don't lift up my pencil at the end, it will create an oval that I can resize and rotate and move as long as I don't lift my pencil. By touching the screen, that oval becomes a perfect circle. The same is true for a square. If I draw a square, hold down my pencil, I'm gonna get four straight lines, and then with my finger touching, I'm gonna be able to turn that into a square. So when I initially started making stickers, this is where I'd start. I'd start with shapes, and I'd turn those shapes into stickers for my planner. So to fill that circle you've created, you're gonna go to this color wheel at the top and simply drag and drop your color into the shape. This will fill all empty spaces in that shape. So now I have a circle and a square. If I want to change the color, I go back to my color palette, pick a new color, and drag and drop it. So if I wanted to, I now have a circle sticker and a basic square sticker that I could easily put into my planner. But we're gonna go into a little bit more detail today. So now I'm gonna show you a trick I learned after I've been designing stickers for some time, and this is a trick I wished I'd discovered way sooner because it really does make it easier. So if you click on this link, you will be able to download free brushes for your iPad, and I'll show you how to do that in a second, but I wanna show you what they do. So under here, you can see I actually have a tab called Planner Stickers, and these are all different shapes that we commonly see in planner stickers, such as little to-do checkboxes or fun little arrows and boxes, all pre-done for you, and they're kind of like a stamp. 
So you are able to touch the screen and it puts that figure right on there as if you'd drawn it. Using this bar to the left, you're gonna be able to change the size of that sticker as well. So if I want these same arrows smaller, I can just adjust the bar down and make smaller stickers. So let me show you how to get that on your iPad so you can do the same thing today. This was actually something I discovered through Pinterest. If you're not on Pinterest, I highly recommend you get on Pinterest. There's so many wonderful things to discover with drawing on Procreate. Make sure you follow me. I'll make sure I link that below because I'm always sharing quick little tutorials and videos both for myself and from all the other talented artists that are out there. So here it is. These are the free Procreate planner sticker stamp brushes that I discovered and have been using ever since. And I do want to give a shout out to Make Break who created these sticker stamps to begin with. All right, so you're going to hit Free Procreate Planner Stickers, hit Download. Up at the top, the little circle with the arrow in it is where your downloads are and simply click on that last one and it'll automatically open up Procreate and then you'll see under your brushes you have your stamp brushes ready to go. So now you're going to be able to use all those shapes yourself to kind of create whatever you want. As you're working, you can change the color a little bit. So let's say I want this to be a little lighter, adjust the color a little bit more to kind of turn it into a color that you like, and you can really create whatever you want. Now there are a lot of tools on this page that make some of what I'm doing easier. I'm just trying to keep to some basic ones to start out with to make it easier for you guys. So let's say I wanted to add a star on top of this little tabby that I've created. Now here's one little trick that I'll show you in terms of moving things around. So if I put my star up here, there's a handy little tool that's going to allow you to kind of circle it and put it on top of where you want it to be. So to do that, I'm going to click on this little squiggly line up here. And you'll notice at the bottom freehand should be highlighted, if not click freehand, and then just draw around the area you want. Once you have done that, you're gonna click the arrow next to it and it's gonna make a little box. So this allows you to size it differently. You can also rotate it and now you can move it wherever you want. So now I'm able to put the star right on top of the little tab. Those of you who have used Procreate before know all about layers and how some of that can make these steps much easier. And we will go into that in future videos. My goal is just to show you how you can quickly and easily make some stickers for your iPad. You'll also notice as I'm working, I showed you earlier the undo button. If you tap with two fingers, you're also able to undo what you've already done. So if you're putting stamps down and you don't like where it is or you don't like how it turned out, you'll notice I'm quickly tapping my iPad. That's a quick shortcut that's very handy. Now I'm using that tool of circling and moving just to get some stuff out of the way so that I have more room to create other stickers. Again, if you remember from my last video, which I'll make sure is linked here, once your stickers are on your digital planner you can resize them so making them small really doesn't impact much right now so I'm just gonna quickly add a few more stickers and then I'll show you what your last step is if you wanted to add text to one of your stickers you're gonna click this little wrench up at the top click add and then down here you'll see add text and it brings up a keyboard for you to type. So I can quickly type and then size the text to fit inside my sticker. So there we have it. These are some very basic getting started stickers. With time I'll show you how to show much more complicated stickers with different patterns and textures using a variety of different brushes and shadowing techniques. So the last step now is to bring these stickers into our planner. Now right now if we were to save it we would have a white background which if you remember from my last video is not ideal in doing our stickers. I want to get rid of all this white space and just have my stickers. To do this, I'm gonna click on this box on top of a box. This is for our layers. And down at the bottom, you're gonna see something called background color, and there'll be a little check box next to it. Uncheck that check box, and you'll see the white will go away from the entire planner. And if you notice, you'll see a very fine checkerboard in the back, which is probably hard to see. And this will show you what is actually see-through. Now to export it, we're gonna click on the wrench and hit the share button. And we'll have lots of different options. You can export this as a JPEG, but it's gonna put a white background behind all the stickers, which is less ideal. So I always use a PNG for my stickers because that'll keep that background transparent. So I'm gonna click PNG. And then because I'm gonna plan on my iPad later, I'm just gonna save it to my images. And now you're ready to follow the same process that we did last week. So if I pull up my planner, 
click the picture button, there are the stickers I just created. And now I can crop around them and pull in just a single sticker onto my planner. And there you've had it. You have now created super simple stickers that you can do in under five minutes easily. I can't wait to show you all the other tricks and tips that I have on how to make digital stickers in the future. If you have any specific questions, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. I'm always looking for that feedback to make sure that I'm creating the videos of things that you guys are excited to see. So I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to hear about all of the stickers that you guys are creating. <music>